Lil Rail. Everybody know Lil Rail. Couldn't sell no tickets, dog. That tour flopped. And you know what tour I'm talking about. Yo, what's up? This bruh man from the fifth float. And you tuned in to Forgotten Kings TV. Last night, comedian Corey Holcomb responded to Little Rail defending Gerard Carmichael in his Club Shay Shay interview from last week. That's right, y'all. Now, for those who may not know, early this year, Corey Holcomb called Gerard Carmichael an industry plant. So, of course, Lil Rel took time in his Club Shay Shay interview to respond to Corey's claims that Gerard Carmichael is indeed an industry plant. Now, for those who didn't hear what Corey had to say about Gerard Carmichael, check out this clip right here. I'm saying, now this mother Gerard Carmichael, that's a plant. Oh. Have you ever seen this nigga upbringing in comedy? He, we we started at the same time. His nigga had a TV show. His ascension was crazy. Hosting motherfucking award show, and all of it sucked. I'm just saying. I ain't saying the TV show sucked because I okay, never good, watched it. I love but God, what I'm like saying it. is, stand up. This shot a stand up special at the comedy store and made it to TV. But no, Spike Lee directed the stand up special. Well, That's why. So wait, that that you get you get that yeah. level. That why? Like Let's that talk level. about that. I so last week, comedian Little Rao, in the middle of his club Shay Shay interview, decided to respond to Corey Holcomb calling Gerard Carmichael an industry plant. For those who missed what Little Rao had to say, check out this clip right here. And I love my big brother Corey Holcomb. I love him to death. Chicago OG, but he be saying crazy shit that doesn't make sense. Recently, he said something about Gerard. Now, this is so crazy. I just saw him, and we embraced, but he was being a little hesitant. I was like, but he didn't know I didn't see the Gerard thing first. Right. He called Gerard an industry plan, right? Because he said he had a sitcom and he hosted a war. Just because you ain't got something, that don't mean everybody a plant. So, of course, after hearing Little Rao's comments in his Club Shay Shay interview, Corey took to IG to send a warning to Little Rao to let him know, listen, not only will I be responding to you on my 5150 show, I promise I will ether your whole career. But before we get into what Corey had to say about Little Rao defending Gerard Carmichael, let me know your thoughts on Corey calling Gerard an industry plant. Do you think there's some truth to what Corey is saying? And also, what are your thoughts on Little Rao saying Corey hasn't done enough? And this is why he's at where he's at in his career. Let me know your thoughts on these statements down in the comment section below. But that's all I got for y'all today. My name is Sensei Rip. Till next time. Peace. This nigga from Chicago who has found ways to be in movies. Look real Lowry. This is hands down the most Assaulted comic in the history of comedy. I done seen and heard about this boy taking more ass whoopings than the nigga in comedy. I'm saying, any comic from Chicago got a story about Rail getting his ass whooped somewhere. I'm shocked. I mean, I, I, I want to let you know, the teeth you had on on the Shay Shay interview, that was a good job. Who is your dentist? I want to go see that mother. Cause you got them teeth knocked out in front of the dime, didn't you? Talking shit to the nigga. Yeah. You know, niggas be talking shit, yeah. but he walked up to the nigga and grabbed the nigga's shirt and did him like that. The nigga was like, hey man, you can say something, but don't touch me, man. Why he touched the nigga again? Uh oh. Oh man. Doo, 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 doo. Dial some facts. <laughs> Homie, it's witnesses. I was like, oh, poor little bro. See, he got to get better with that. Don't ain't you, dog, you can't keep getting knocked out as you get older, dog. You brought up the fact that I said something about Gerard Carmichael. I'm abbreviated. I said, Jamar, I don't know, Gerard Carmichael, how many chops are limited for him to have a special shot by Spike Lee? Gerard Carmichael experience in the game was limited to have a TV show right after that. Then you know Corey Holcomb, I said it must be Bagdoria type shit. I know how this town work. Yeah. I know the black men they want to put out there in front of the people. I don't dislike Gerard Carmichael. I don't know him. But I'm not stupid enough to think that 
the industry is finna grab real talent and put it up front because real talent is difficult to deal with because we ask for what we deserve. Lil Rail. Everybody know Lil Rail. Couldn't sell no tickets, dog. That tour flopped. And you know what tour I'm talking about. See, I'm spitting the facts. I ain't got the shit on you. You said fucking spend money on cars and jewelry. I'm assuming you're talking about me. You said, I know he ain't putting in that work. I know he ain't putting in that work. I put in more work than you, bro. I put in more work than a lot of motherfuckers, homie. That's how I'm able to survive traveling on the goat path in the back. Because I ain't got no shame in my life, homie. But you said they can spend their money on cars and jewelry, huh? What you spend your money on, Lil Rev? You spend your money on bitches that don't look like you. And ain't got no pictures of you and your family posted on her page. Look it up. Look it up. Look the shit up. I did some research. That bitch don't fuck with you. She hustling, homie. Get it. You niggas get to Hollywood and believe this life. You go get an augmented bitch. That's what you bought with your money, nigga. So don't worry about what he's doing with their money. This is the truth. It's a movie called Trading Places with Eddie Murphy. Homie, they got rid of the man who motherfucker grew up doing this shit. The Dukes bet one dollar. They bet one dollar that they could put this nothing ass nigga in that spot <clears throat> and make him do the same thing. That's what happened with most of y'all. Y'all not the elites of entertainment. The Dukes representing the industry. They grab you bust ass and they put you in a job and make you think that you better than the that they didn't grab and put in there. Gerard Carmichael, I, ever since you said that real, they, people been showing me videos of Gerard Michael kissing white boy feet on HBO. But he was on your page and you was on his page. What's that about? You are who you fuck with. Look, I watched your special. You laughed at your special more than anybody in the audience. All them comics to be like, <laughs> 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 shit ain't that funny. You laughing at? They ain't laughing that hard. Yeah. Right. Comedians who can make money by hustling, you know what I'm saying? We hustling eight balls out here. You coming in there with all that fame from your trading places as life, and couldn't even make no money on the road. People wasn't with it. Dog, you a trading places as. You was put there by the Dukes who won they bet. I bet I could take this unfunny, ugly little <laughs> and turn him into a movie guy. The other Duke was like, get the fuck out of here, Mortimer. Hey, Mortimer. Right. <laughs> you can't take that guy and make him into a star. I'd like to see it. I'll take that bet. Them writers from that movie, dog, they, they helped your career. What was the name of that movie with the mother hypnotized? Get out. Get out. You need to take them out every day and wash their underwear once a week. <laughs> oh they saved you, dog. Lord. They saved you. I'm glad them movies saved some of y'all. Because you can't get it out here in the bricks like I'm getting it in these comedy streets. All you can do is pop up and do guest spots and talk shit about motherfuckers outside the club and get beat up. That's your life in a nutshell. And there's a million motherfuckers. <laughs> The knockout kings of comedy. This your boy Reggie Curl. You know what I'm saying? This is my cousin Troncho. You know what I'm saying? He's coming by. No, I know me old. He's got the lamb skin condoms. I didn't even want my man to eat my because I eat meat from Aldi's. The fuck wrong with you? Aldi's, you should eat this. We don't know what the fuck that meat is. Yeah. Real. I heard a nigga get in prison. That's not the, the part about it.
The part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't helping my <laughs> shit ain't no point of both of us get <laughs> I step up, look him right in his eyes. <laughs> he go to pat me down. Pop, 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 Twenty dollars, homeboy. I'm like, <laughs> no sir! Punchline, punchline, punchline. Give me some. Yeah. <laughs> it was an incident involving you and the homie Caps. I, I was looking for the clean knockout, like yo, I I I and you know, he caught the backhand. When you backhand him, you back slapped him. They said you ran. M Wreck TV.